What kind of ant can destroy a picnic table? A giant! <laughs> <laughs> it's jaw time! With Mr. Mayberry. Time to draw! Well, hello, and welcome to Draw Time with Mr. Mayberry. I'm Mr. Mayberry, and this week on Draw Time, it's Picnic Week, so we're going to be drawing things that have to do with picnics. Now, when we draw our picture today, you can use any kind of paper you'd like. I happen to be using copy paper, and you can use any kind or size of pencil that you'd like. I happen to be using a larger uh, number two pencil. So let's get started. It's time to draw. Okay, for today's drawing, I have my paper turned horizontal, and we're going to start off by drawing a parallelogram. And we're just going to start with a long horizontal line, goes this direction. Then on either, on both corners, we're going to make a slanted line. I'm going to start by slanting this one down to the left. Then I'm going to make the same kind of line over here on this right corner. And it's running parallel with the uh, line on the other side. And so when you have two sets of parallel lines in a shape like this, that's called a parallelogram. So that's what we have here. All right, so a long horizontal line across the bottom. This is Now this is the top of the picnic table. Next we're going to add, um, we're going to make it look like there's a uh, tablecloth on the picnic table. So we draw a vertical line in these three corners right here. That's the second one and the third one. Is a tablecloth is hanging down over the edge of the table so that's that and then now the bottom edge of the uh, tablecloth we're going to make wavy because uh, they tend to move around a bit when they're hanging off the end of the table so we're going to make it look kind of wavy like it's moving next we're going to add the legs to the table we're going to start on the right side and we're going to begin like it we're going to act like it starts underneath here and I come down I'm making kind of an A shape I'm going to slant this down to the left here and then I'm going to slant another line down to the right. Now the one on the right side is a little bit shorter than the one on the left because it's farther away from us. It looks like it's going back into space just a little bit. We're making a 3D picnic table so we're um, that's what you do next. Now um, for the there's a brace that holds the bench up. There's going to be a bench right across the bottom here and this brace it looks like uh, we're forming the letter A here. I'm going to start with a line that slants up to the right. Now notice it, it runs parallel with the top edge of the table here. It's going the same direction. And I made it longer, you know, past the end of this the central part here. Okay, the bench is going to start in this corner where there's an intersection. And I'm going to draw a long horizontal line. Doing a lot of parallels today. This is parallel with the top of the table right here. This line here is going the same direction and they're the same width apart all the way across. Then I draw the bottom edge of this bench and it's going to go straight across. Now you can use rulers for all these lines that I'm doing but I'm wanting to show you uh, fairly quickly and then I'm also wanting you to know that you can do this without a ruler. Uh, the more you practice you, you can get a little bit straighter lines. Mine start off a little bit crooked uh, when I start but then I can kind of adjust them and make them straighter. Now for the um, left side here of this bench I'm going to start underneath the corner of the table and I'm going to slant the line down. I want it to go the same direction as this line up here and also the same it's going to be parallel with this edge on the right. So I draw that line in and connect everything up here. Then I need to make the the uh, brace that goes across here on this side as well. So I'm going to extend this line at an angle all the way up under the table. Alright, now for the leg, I want to uh, draw this same types of leg that I have here. I'm going to draw it over here on this other side. So where the intersection is, there's going to be an intersection right here where these two lines connect and it slants down like the letter A like we had over here. It's parallel with this one. All right, and then I've got the leg in the back. That I'm just kind of guessing about where it should go from the middle, and it's going to extend down. We're going to see a little bit. No, we won't see it below that because that doesn't look right. Okay, so it'll just go down to the bench. It's actually 
the bench is overlapping where the, the end of this leg is. So it's down in here somewhere. Kind of even with the bottom of this one. Alright, and then I want to make the bench on the back side. I'm going to start here where these two lines intersect and make a horizontal line. And then I want to make the back bench about the same width as this front bench. So I'm going to come up here and make a, another horizontal line right here. Then I can erase where it sticks past here. I'm using a pink eraser for that. You can use any kind of eraser you want. And then I'm going to darken my lines, make it look like these braces are a little more substantial, a little thicker than just a stick line that I started with. And this is our basic picnic table. Well, each day after we're done drawing, we're going to take what we've learned and add it to a bigger picture. So let's take time and see what our big picture looks like today. Okay, well here's our big picture. Um, this is the picnic table that I've shown you how to draw with the parallelogram for the top of the table and the waviness of the tablecloth and the benches. I've uh, drawn a couple other things though to it. I've, I've made uh, like a checkerboard design on the, on the cloth. And the way I did that was to use lines that run parallel with the sides of the table, space them out evenly. And then I did horizontal lines that are spaced out evenly going the other direction. And so it makes this checkerboard pattern, which we'll um, see. It will, I'll probably add color to that as we go out throughout the week, and you'll see that more prominently. Now, one thing to keep in mind, though, as if you're working on a bigger picture, we're going to be adding stuff on top of the table. So you don't want to make these lines too dark to begin with because we'll just be drawing over them, and it'll be hard to, harder to erase them if they're really dark and uh, you don't want to see extra lines when we get finished. So if you, as you're drawing the top of the table, if you're working on a bigger picture, um, keep these lines lighter to begin with, and then we'll make them darker when we get towards the end of the week. Now, the, the other thing that I added was a horizon line back here, the imaginary line where the sky and the earth meet. This time I made more of a hill or, or hills in the back, so it cut kind of a slow wavy line. So this is what our big picture looks like today. Well, thanks for taking time to draw with me today. I hope you come back tomorrow. And remember, if you want to be a good artist, do a little drawing every day. Oh yeah, that's a keeper.